one, this video is going to help you learn how to use Google My Maps. So the first thing you're going to do is go into Google Classroom, into Classwork, or even better, you'll go to your task checklist. And you're going to find Google My Maps practice, wherever that is on your checklist, and open it up. Uh -huh. You're going to need two things. You're going to need your work. This is going to show up in the Your Work section in the top right for you, and the My Maps page. So you want to open these both up. And I'm just going to focus on the My Maps piece now. So you're going to click Get Started. And then you're going to do create a new map. This orange button will show up in a couple of different places. So you just need to create a new map. Then you're going to take the untitled. You're going to title it World Wanderers. Click save. Now you're going to be able to go back and forth through the practice. What's really cool is you can X things out like that and strike them out as you complete them. So as you complete a step, you want to do those. You've already completed those first two. Now we're going to create a pin for Bedford, New Hampshire. So we're going to be toggling back and forth. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in Bedford, New Hampshire. Now I see I have a green pin. And I want to click Add to Map. Now as I click it Add to Map, two things happens. It comes with a blue pin and you can now see it over here in your World Wanderers map. Kind of like a layer. The next thing it needed you to do was create a screenshot. So you're going to do a screenshot, and if you don't know how, you can ask a neighbor or you can ask me, and I'll be helping, help, happy to help you. You're just going to create a screenshot. It doesn't really matter how big it is, just so that we can see that there's Bedford. And it says insert a screenshot of that pin here. I'm going to put my cursor. And there it is. So then, since I finished that, Click that pin. Now I'm going to worry about the next one. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA is blank miles from Bedford, New Hampshire, USA. I'm going to go back to my map and I'm going to type in Pittsburgh. And then there's a whole bunch that come up. So I'm going to choose Pittsburgh, PA. It's a green pin, so I need to add to map, turn it into a blue pin, and I can see it over here. Now what I need to do is I need to zoom out until I can see both Pins. Now, right now, I still have a hand, and when I have a hand, if you can see when I close on my mouse, the hand turns into a fist, so it will allow you to move things around, otherwise it's just a little hand. You can see both pins. I'm going to click the ruler now, and as I click the ruler, I'm going to go from one pin to the other, and you're going to see how many miles are there. So right now, I can see that it says it's about 472 miles. Yours isn't going to say exactly the same thing, and that's all right. Now, as you can tell, if I keep moving my mouse around, the ruler just keeps going. So I can click the ruler and it'll stop, and then I can click it again and I can start again. All right? I'm going to type in however many miles I think it is, blah, 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 and then like this. And that's how you're going to be able to continue with the Google My Maps activities. So keep following through the checklist and finding some different things and using the ruler. Hopefully this is really helpful for you world wanderers. You're almost ready to take off and start traveling on your own.